we're back. We're back in Portsmouth, and we are going towards where it, the last location of the spy was headed. First, this man looks rather interesting. Evening, boss. You look like the kind of person that could use Baker's services. Baker? Baker is, well, a vendor. He runs a shop where you can buy certain things at this time of night. What kind of stuff are you talking about? Well, you know, certain things the coppers wouldn't be too fond of us selling. I see. Where is he? He's located inside an old train car. He's only available at night. Very convenient for me. Thanks for the information. Evening, boss. You look like... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, oh, oh, dear. You know oh, God. <laughs> an old yeah. Train car. yeah, he normally um, night. is meant to approach you, but I approached him. <laughs> yep, this cat is also talking the crap nipple thing from Bloodlines 1. <laughs> hey, motherfucker. Okay, this, you will literally get into a fight right away. Now, even if you aren't playing uh, a character who is going to be a brawling character, your fists are pretty much your only weapon, so it's a good idea to just start punching. <laughs> And because this does actually use uh, Bloodlines 1 vanilla engine, your fists are actually still pretty good, even if you have no brawling skill whatsoever. So you'll be fine. Okay. Who are you? Who sent you? Calm down, my friend. Are you okay? Do you need medical attention? No, don't worry. It's nothing. A month of rest won't heal. Very well. I came to this town to meet you. I think you have information how to reach the Paris Resistance headquarters. Oh, I see. Yes, I have discovered something. The destroyer, Savage, communicates with him often and has their location saved in its punching machine. You can copy it onto an empty punch card. Ah, where could I get one? No, sorry, it isn't that easy. The cards and the punching machine are inside the Savage, which is moored at the pier. How did you plan to get inside? I've been thinking about it. Please share your thoughts. There are a few civilians that can get aboard. Every day at noon, laundry and food staff come to the ship. Hmm. If I could find an officer ID, will that get me past security? Yes, yes. It could be done. Explain how. I have the address of an officer. I don't know his name, but if you can get inside his home and take his ID, you can get past security. He lives in the apartment house across from the hotel. I'm not very good at hiding. There's no other way. Violence is not an option here. And I don't want to see any allied soldier injured. You're right. I just hope there was. One more thing. If you manage to drug the food in his refrigerator, he will be ill for a few days and probably won't notice that his papers were stolen. Thanks. I'll be leaving now. Will you be safe? I hope so. I intend to leave this town tonight. I think there's a train to London in a few hours. Thanks for helping me. Right. Take care and don't lose hope. We'll win this war. Okay. So we saved her. And by the way, if you come back here later, there will be a knife in there. <laughs> because the reason I, uh, it doesn't have the knife in there is because I already gotten it from the man who attacked me. Okay. So, we have another objective, which is to get this officer's ID. And we will have some sneaking skill, don't worry, because um, I'm going to be meeting with the merchant soon. And once I've done a quest for him, I will be selling my book, my stealth book to, you know, get it twice. I'll, I'll show you when I get there. And also, a drug bottle. Now, there is a particular drug we need, and it's not morphine. I will show you it when we find it. Or point it out to you in the man's inventory, but there is a way for us to get it for free. You need something, miss? I'm looking into a rumor. You know anything about Cole? Who's asking? I'm looking for Father Charles. D don't think I can help you. Sorry. I've been told that you can. You talked to two men recently. I don't know what are you talking about, stranger. Don't leave me alone, alright? Please, it's important. Father Charles is worried about this. Alright, alright. <coughs> A couple of nights ago, these two people approached to me. They seem, uh, I don't know, kind of shifty. They thought they wanted was a go. So I went to a forest and got them one. 
gave me 20 pounds on an elephant. Do you remember what they looked like? Nope. They were wearing hoods, so I couldn't make out their faces. Damn. The police think about it through... I was out later, up by the warehouses. There is this old bar across the street at the corner. Been there for years. Doesn't even have a back wall anymore. So you can see it right inside. I look at it and I see those two guys from before carrying the goat in. I look away for a second and <coughs> then they are gone. Weird. All right. Thank you. Hey, wait a moment. Any chance you could lend me a few pounds? Sure. Thanks. And we get a humanity point again. Because we helped out a homeless man. So we better look out for that barn. Alright. First things first, let's go to the council place for Sheila. Because we need to get the, de the death register. Which I just want to save again just to protect from any crashes. There is another quest down the street. There, that street, uh, past the construction site. But we'll get it in a minute. Let's see, is there anything else I need to get right now? Oh, I should probably get another dexter uh, security point. So I think I'll do that right now. It's not really needed for this part for me, but it will be for later. Okay, so this will require seven security to unlock it. And I believe it just takes you to another the other maintenance room. Or you can drop from here. Okay, so here's a wallet, which will give me 50 pounds. Very nice. So from here, or right down in that room earlier. Now, these office, you know, some of these things are pretty much like how it was in the museum. And if you remember in that museum office, this, uh, the office room before going downstairs into the basement, there was a desk that had some prescription pills. And that's what we need to drug the officer's food. Who are you? Good evening. evening. What are you doing here? Not an employee. No, I have the keys because I'm from the administration in London. This is a surprise audit. Okay, I'll go get some coffee while you work. Okay. Now, again, this is modeled, af uh, modeled after Boris's room. And of course, he had a fancy thing on his desk. But we, you know, it's not there at the moment, but... Okay, so here's the death register. last month and we'll give that to Sheila. So I'm trying to avoid killing people as much as possible. Um, ordinary civilians. Anyone who isn't ordinary or my actual you know enemy who's actually threatening my life they they, they can die. <laughs> All right, so let's talk to Baker. Well, look what we have here. Good evening, miss. Welcome to Baker's Lagoon, the right place to find supplies in these hard times. I know, one of your employees told me. I suppose I don't need to warn a lady that my man won't act gentlemanlike if you try something stupid. I'll try to remember it. Good. Here you can find everything that you need. You gonna talk or not? You're gonna sell me something. Better. That's what I like to hear. I'm only gonna show you my regular stuff. Since I don't trust you. Don't know you are Cooper. You see? Okay, show me the merchandise. So he also sells it here. It's like 54 pounds here. And much like Fat Larry, after you exit the conversation, you can just go back in and he'll offer the quest. Don't mean to be intruding, but this isn't the sort of thing a lady like you who's all it needs. I'm a dangerous lady. You, you sure you want to know? Easy, dear. Just wondering if someone who needs these weapons could do some work for me. 
What do you have in mind? I need someone who is unknown in this town. My men are under surveillance. You got my attention. A warehouse owner came here to ask for asking for a loan. You know the kind of sad story. I have no money. My sons are starving. But the time for payback has expired. I have a reputation to maintain, so I need him to do this, and I pay you, and give you access to my private stock. How does that sound? Sounds like a good deal for you. I want a discount at your store as well. <laughs> I'm ready right now. I'll be back when he's stopped breathing. And I am going to be killing this guy because I do need this discount. <laughs> you can get him to leave, but you will fail the quest. So I'm just telling you right now. But I'm not. Gonna, I'm not going to do it here. But I'm not going to fail the quest on purpose. So I'm going to purposely succeed. However, you will lose a point of humanity, and you will actually, as you will see, he is guarded by a. He's, he's guarded. Unfortunately, if you kill those guards, you lose humanity. So I'm going to try to avoid that by using my brain wipe. You can also try to avoid this situation by sneaking. Or if you have a fusicate, use a fusicate. It's not easy though. Alright, okay. Okay. I'm going to try to use my sneaking. And of course use trance when I need to. There's a jewelry box here we can sell. Alright. Let's get up here. Just back off. <laughs> Sorry, I have work to do. Oh! Die. No! No! Okay. So we only lose one point of humanity. And these other the guards are tough. They are mean. And we pick up his eyes as proof. Unfortunately, I've never been able to figure out how to get in that safe. If anybody knows, please do comment down below. I would be very interested in finding out what's in that safe. Alright, let's, let's try to sneak back without losing... without dying. Okay. What? Uh, again, this is uh, the same warehouse's metal head from the original game. Ah, much better. I actually much prefer... I'm really glad I did it this way because uh, I didn't like losing all that humanity just from killing those guards. So, this is the way to do it. Of course, if you don't have a uh, trance or the Malkavi ability of, um, you know, hysteria or amulism where you can use the crows, I do believe you could probably use a blood buff to memorialize them see you. And oh no. Looks like someone did a ritual here. Uh, oh, I just got a blood pack. Oh, sweet, I didn't know that. Huh. That's nice. So free blood pack here too, if you wanted it. Nice. Now this is a bit hard to see this trapdoor. I only found this because I had a high enough inspection, you know, when I actually managed to do this quest. So we better go and tell the priest that we have found indeed evidence of a ritual, but we haven't found the cultists who did it. Sorry, I'm just I'm a chronic saver. <laughs> Hello again, my child. Father, I found the ritual. I see. And what did you find? Two men went to what went to one of the homeless people and asked him to get a goat for them. He pointed to me into an old barn and I found a secret basement with a ritual circle inside, which was the goat's head. Nobody was there. I do not know what to make of this, but you are a resourceful soul, and I can see the light in your spirit. If you were ever in another city, seek out someone in the church's hierarchy and speak to them of this. 
Maybe I will. Good evening, father. Okay. So now, uh... Father Charles' worst fears are real, but the problems overwhelm him. If you want to keep helping, try to find out more information in other cities. Maybe you can continue your investigation in Paris. And of course we've killed the debtor and removed his eyes for proof. Baker should be impressed with our cold blindness. And of course we're still on the register. For Sheila. I'll see, we'll see what else. That's pretty much it. Alright, so we... I just realized we still haven't dealt with the whole thing with the restaurant, so we still need to go to the pier. I will be going to the pier soon. Alright. But first, we must, uh... Sorry, I'm just trying to... Yeah, this is best go to Baker. In fact, the gate to the pier is right there, so we will be going there in a minute. You're back. The work is done. Yes, I heard it from here, and a lot of other people heard it too. You owe me money. You are resourceful. I like that. Let's have a lunch tomorrow. I'm unavailable during the day, but I hear you. Can offer you more work if you're interested. Something that doesn't involve killing. I'm listening. There's a beer company called Caroline's. They're printing shares because they want to expand their business. I want to have a part of that. The job is easy. Go inside, locate some shares, validate them, and bring them back to me. I'll do that. We're here. At first, I'm going to get... So we have now free finance. So that's an interesting interesting thing we can have. Alright. Let me sell this book. And then I'm gonna buy it back. I believe you need like uh for about two sneak two research to read this book. Alright. So we have our maximum security points, and also, we can do our decryption, too. You're back. Sorry for the repetitiveness. Okay. No, I, better, I better sell my uh, weapons, too. Might as well get that extra money. Okay, so let's go to the pier, and then we will go over there. Because there's another quest we can pick up. And don't worry, we will eventually do the officer quest. The main quest, but I just want to do all the side quests beforehand. Let's see, is there anything else I want to buy? Not yet. I'm good for the moment. That's the boat, that's our objective, but we cannot go there yet. We need the ID. Well, actually, you don't need the ID, but I like getting the ID. You need something? Just a quick question. A restaurant in town is having problems with your shift. Fish. It looks like people are sick for days after eating there. What the bloody fuck? We are fishing as always. Our catches are healthy. Get lost. I didn't want to insult you, sorry, but if the fish are making people sick, it will ruin your business. Alright, alright. Look, some employees of the fish market come here at dawn and take them. I see, where can I find these people? I don't know. Ask the chef at that restaurant. He should know. Thanks, I will not bother you anymore. And again, you there are different social skills. I haven't tried it with intimidation, but I have done it with seduction. It's pretty much the same thing. It's like free, level probably like free. Seduction. Seduction does actually get used in place of uh, suede sometimes. Um, and of course it has its own uses too. Make quick. <laughs> okay. So 
So, let's go over here. So there is a gas station here. Or, yeah, basically a pump station. Hello, you don't feel well? Uh, no thanks, I came to Portsmouth by train. I don't have a car. Oh, uh, I see. Uh, can I help you with something else? The shop has closed at this time. What can you tell me about Portsmouth? Old Pompey, what's to tell? Even sly the old guy. And all that. It's a night nice city, but the world hit it hard. I'm afraid to come out nowadays. It's been a while since the land of but well, you never know. You have something else on your mind. Please, tell me, please. The, the business isn't going well nowadays. Seriously? I thought this was the only filling station in town. Yes, the only one for 20 miles around. But I know the construction workers are still well from their machines and selling cheap. I see a creative solution for hard times. In my opinion is some work. But the police is almost not present since the war started. My help has a price. Really? Okay. If you help me, I will give you a hundred pounds. I was thinking a hundred and twenty-five. Man, all this money. Okay, I have no options. Fine. Explain where they sell the fuel. I don't know where they say they well, but during the day they work in the building right here. Do you want me to teach them a lesson? Well, I don't like violence, but if you can ruin the business, I would be happy. Understood. I will return. Okay, so here's the thing. You have to ask for money for this quest, because this quest is a bit buggy. If you don't ask for money and you say, oh, I'll do it for free, basically, um, when you go back, he's like talking about giving you money and then you can't finish the quest because it, all it says is, I have no valid reply. Which is a bit screwy. Okay. Mike, I've got the oil in my car's trunk in the parking lot as always. Drive to our tank and refill it. The buyer will come in a few days. The key's under the wheelbarrow as usual. And it's right here, beside the wheelbarrow. So we're gonna look for a car with a trunk. So let's go look for a parking lot. Actually, in the meantime, see, so yeah, actually, probably no. Yeah, we're gonna find the we're gonna find the car, the par, the parking lot. We're fine. Let's get in and wait. And we're going to be transported to wherever we're meant to be going, where the wherever these people have their oil tank. Ah, there we are. The old water mill. So I'm just going to basically ruin their business. You actually might have noticed item here. Yes, there's a lot pick here, I guess, in case you missed it. Don't know why they put that there. It's a bit strange. You don't get anything from, pick it, from picking it up because, well, you already did earlier. And we have a pill bottle, which is just basically the estrogen pills. So nice to pick it up because it does give you a bit of spare money, but we're not going to sell it right now. Because there is a financial book we can get in this game, but we'll have to wait a bit before we do that. But I am still going to sell and buy stuff if I have to. Alright. You're in the worker's hideout. Time to find a way to solve the fuel problem. Killing the boss will be a bloody way to do it, perhaps there, but perhaps there's another option. And there is indeed. You see that over there? There's a switch here. If we pull it, it'll empty the tank. And it basically ruins their business. So the person who was going to go and buy that all that fuel is going to find that there is no fuel for them to buy. Now I'm going to go over here though, because there's a skill book here. Now I'm not going to actually be able to make much use of it, but you might. 
the kendo for kendo for advanced students. This is a melee book. Very useful. So I'm just gonna trance him so he can't see me. Okay, so I'm just gonna go over here. Again, you can use your blood buff or a fusicate to avoid that situation. Okay, thankfully he has just turned around, so I can just go back the way I came. Okay, it's just, again, just trancing him. So we've, the fuel has been drained and the problem is solved. Use the worker's card to return to Portsmouth. And we shall do that, and once we've returned to Portsmouth, we shall end it here. Let's see, is this a door? Well, it's locked. Doesn't matter. We also got ourselves a, an extra normal watch, which is useful. Again, I'm trying to be careful so I don't alert anybody. Because while they are stealing fuel to sell it, basically, for to make money during these hard times, I don't want to kill them. Again, I'm trying to minimize as much harm as I can. 